Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to return to Poland and continue on with my Polish beer month that you guys are seeing across May 2016. So for this one we have another beer that was given to me by my friend Dominika, so a big thank you to her for bringing this beer back from Poland with her. But for this one we are going to go to Brovar Cornelius and this one is their Przeźniczny beer which is a 5% German style Hefeweizen. You can see all the Polish down here, but then it just says Hefeweizen, which is a little bit funny actually. I don't know why they, they call it Hefeweizen. I think it's there are other words for wheat beers in Polish, but it's quite funny that they actually use the kind of German word for it. That's the first one I've actually seen like that. But it's quite cool as well because Dominica, the beers that Dominica has given me are mainly regional beers and I had no idea that in Poland there was such a big regional beer scene as well. I knew there was many, many good craft breweries but I didn't know there was a regional scene. So it's quite cool to learn about the beer diversity in Poland as well. And one thing is that the standard of Polish beer is pretty damn high as well so it's always good to try these different Polish beers. So I really would recommend them and I hope you guys are enjoying this Polish beer month that I'm doing for you. But anyway, as is usual with my beer reviews, then I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you want to get straight to the tasting, as always, just fast forward. In the video description below, you'll find all the usual websites. The brewery website, the link to my future reviews I'll do from Brover Cornelius. Very first time I'm trying one of their beers, but I hear there's quite a big range of them, so hopefully I can try more. And there's all the usual social media, so do go and follow, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If you want to see more beer reviews, do subscribe to the channel, and I apologise in advance once again for butchering the Polish language. It's a very difficult language to pronounce, so do please forgive me for that but do get in touch and let me know some other Polish beers and breweries that you guys would like me to have a look at. Since I've discovered the standard of Polish beer I'm more than happy to do more reviews on it for you so do let me know your favourite beers from Poland. But anyway, to tell you about Brover Cornelius, so these guys are based in a little town called Piotrkov which is in Wodzwa Voidship in Poland. From the map that I saw it looked as if it was fairly close to Warsaw actually, maybe just an hour or two away. But these guys are a member of the Association of Polish Regional Breweries. And the history of the original brew plant goes back to the year 1927 when it was founded by Henrik Urbanski. But after a while, they began to produce soft drinks and also vinegars, but they began bottling their beer first in 1938. So obviously when the Second World War broke out, the production capacity was very small. So I don't think it was taken over by the Germans and run to feed the army as many of the big breweries in Poland were but apparently this also saved it from the, the nationalisation that occurred when the communist regime took over Poland and it's quite unusual in that regard actually as far as I can tell from the translation this original brew plant was actually a bottling plant so I'm not sure about that that might be something that's been lost in translation but as far as I can tell this this brewery wasn't subjected to the nationalisation that many of the others were but Brother Cornelius is actually part of the company called Sulimar and Sulimar was founded um, officially in 1988 by Henry Supedi and Eugenius Lizowski, but apparently they bought the assets of another company back in 1981 and this one was supposed to be the largest bottling plant in the Wodz region of Poland but in 1988 they actually started brewing their own beer brand which was known at the time as Brother Keeper but in 1993 the company moved to a new and modern brewing facility in Piotrkov and initially they were producing the, the Vinmar fruit wines as well or Vinmar I guess you would say but in 2000 they started to focus completely on the production of beer and the brewery name was changed from Keeper to Cornelius I think it was in, I'm sure it said it was 2007 if I'm not mistaken but they now produce over 1 million hectolitres of beer per year and the brewery symbol is the rooster as you can see on the label there and apparently this was first placed on the brewery barrels in 2010 and it's a symbol of the medieval brewing traditions of Pyotrkov. So yeah, it's quite an interesting history this one, it's a little bit different from the other ones I've been over with you before but their beers include the Grapefrutovi which is a grapefruit beer, the Porter beer which is meant to be very very nice, there's a Dunkel beer as well, Bananovi and there's also the Triple Blonde too but I actually read a blog article that said there's more than that but the website if you go on the Brover Cornelius website it only has those ones listed for some reason so do let me know about the, the actual range of these beers I really don't know and as, a, as you might have guessed I don't speak Polish all that well so I can't really go and investigate for myself but do let me know your own thoughts on this brewery and the beers that they produce as well and hopefully I can review more of these in the future. So this one, as I mentioned to you, is a 5% wheat beer. It was first introduced in 2007 and apparently it's brewed in accordance with the Reinheitsgebot, the German purity law. So should be quite interesting actually. So we'll see how we get on with this. I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork on this one before we open it up. There you can see 
the Cornelius rooster. It's nicely presented, this one. I quite like the, the shape of the bottle, actually. It's quite unusual. And it says on the side here, um, I think that's a best before date. It doesn't actually... I can't really make out exactly what that says. Oh, no, sorry, that's the IBUs. This one is about 20 IBUs. And it, do, it says best before... Um, the 8th of March 2016 so it's well in date but obviously I'm filming these reviews quite a bit before you're seeing them but it looks really nice you can see the the rooster on the bottle cap there as well so without further ado we'll get this guy open and get on with the tasting just in case you're curious this beer review is being filmed on the 27th of February so this beer is well within its date when um, when I'm reviewing it but you guys won't see the review until I think about the 10th maybe 12th of May something like that I'm filming these in advance just uh, to prepare actually because I wanted this month to be scheduled and uh, to really just get an idea of Polish beer. I think I've got enough. I can just put this all in the glass actually. I thought this was a 500ml bottle but it is only a 400ml. But yeah, looks very nice. As you can see it has poured and it looks particularly like a German Hefeweizen as you would expect. If I hold it up to the light there, it's a nice bright orangey amber colour if you like. Bright yellowy amber is probably a good way to describe it. There's a solid finger of a frothy white head on there and there's quite a few little bubbles just heading up towards the bottom of that head there. You can see there is a degree of transparency but the beer itself is pretty opaque. So it's got quite a... It looks very nice actually. There's some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass too. But overall it looks like a typical German Weizen beer. So let's have a look at the aroma here and see how we get on. So yeah, without sugaring it up, it has all of the elements you would expect. You know, you've got that sweet, yeasty, bready nose on this. There's the banana and bubblegum notes that come out of the beer. You can pick up the wheaty character underneath. There's a little bit of wheaty and kind of peppery spice in this one. When you sugar it up, you actually start to get a little bit more of a hoppy character. There's a little bit of smooth, grassy, hoppy character in this beer. But it smells... This beer actually smells very, very candied. It's really the, the bubblegum on this one for me is really starting to come out. Yeah, these blue bubblegum balls that you get out of the machines in America really reminds me of that. Yeah, this one is really quite candied actually, so just pay attention to the aroma a little bit before you actually taste this one for yourself. Always gives you a good idea of how the beers are going to turn out, but when you sugar it up you can get a little bit of a, a kind of grassy and floral aroma. But yeah, it's, it's nice. As I say, this one leans more towards the kind of candied bubblegum aromas. So do give it a smell for yourself before you try. But let's get stuck into this one. So this is the, the Pszczesnichne, which is a German-style Hefeweizen. Comes in at 5% from Brovar Cornelius in Piotrkov in Wodzbowojczyk in Poland. So thank you once again to Dominika. Nastrovia. Let's get stuck in. Hmm. Now that's actually quite good. The beer, it actually wasn't rated too highly on rate beer. I think it was only rated something like uh, like 50, roughly, but it was rated quite high within the style from what I remember. But overall it had quite a low rating in comparison with the style, but I have to admit, much like the, the, the Juviet's APA that I reviewed for you, I think the last video it was, but um, this beer is actually quite nice. You know, these regional beers that are coming out of Poland, they're actually pretty damn good. And you know, some of these beers are, are as good as the likes of um, some of the German, the bigger German beers actually, quite easily. I've always said in some of my reviews that Germany, the Czech Republic, and probably Belgium, a lot of the Belgian beers are very full of flavour, as are the German ones of course and the Czech beers. But the Germans and Czechs in particular I've found are the only ones who have really perfected sort of macro brewing. Like for example, some of these, I mean like Bitburger for example, it's a kind of classic German pill style beer. It is an industrial beer as they call it in Germany right enough. But it's still, you know, it's still quite a good beer. And I'm actually, these regional breweries in Poland seem to be up at that standard as well. So I have to give them, you know, I have to say I'm impressed with that. Because um, Poland, of course, isn't somewhere that you'd think you'd get so much beer from. 
especially the beer that's as good quality as this, you would more think Poland is, is for vodka and things, and obviously it is, but um, I'm very impressed, just overall, I'm very impressed with the standard of the beer that's coming out of Poland, great stuff. Hmm. But yeah, this is nice, I mean, it's not quite as hoppy as some of the Weizen beers you're going to come across in Germany, so it does deviate from the style a bit, it's not quite as, as malty, I mean, this is a nice, it's quite an unusual take, like I said with the, the Juviet's APA, it is different from uh, from the actual German styles that you're going to get. One of the things I've noticed about these regional beers too is how smooth they are in the mouthfeel. So it's obviously something, and maybe it's just because people like vodka a bit more, the mouthfeel in these Polish regional beers tends to be very, very smooth. And it makes the, the drinkability quite good, and they do have a good bit of flavour in them as well, which is quite interesting. Hmm. But yeah, in the middle of the palate from this one, you get a nice bready malt base, kind of yeasty as well, that obviously just blankets the middle of the tongue. On top of that, you're having everything that you would expect, you know, there's the bigger yeasty characters just sitting there. This one is quite sweet, it actually does lead to a kind of candied, um, bubble gummy banana flavour, and it's, it's quite different actually. It is, this, this one, as you could tell from the aroma, this beer leans more towards the kind of candied side of things. It reminds me of these kind of gummy, um, not quite gummy I guess, these sort of soft chewy banana sweets that you can get in pick and mix and stuff like that. The, the flavour in this beer really does remind me of that. But yeah, as you move towards the front of the tongue there is just a little bit of spicy character from the uh, from the wheat. The wheat is nicely done in this one but this is quite a sweet Hefeweizen in this. Usually the German traditional ones are a little bit more along the lines of uh, They've got a bit more hoppy character to them. They're a bit dry around the edge of the palate because they really load them with hops. But they're 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 a bit more uh, they're a bit less sweet than that. It's more of a yeasty kind of dryness. You get a big yeasty body in those beers, and they can be very heavy. This one is actually quite light, and this is quite a drinkable Weizen beer. But the German ones are a lot heavier than this. But that said, it is quite nice in terms of the flavour that you get. But in fairness. As your palate adjusts to it, you start to get more of the hoppy character out of this beer. So around the front part of the mouth, or the front part of the palate I should say, you're getting a nice kind of um, grassy flavour out of the hops there. There is a bit, little bit of floral aromaticity to this one, so I wonder if they've used the likes of Lubelski hops or something like that, if they've used some of these nice Polish hops that are coming out. But these are it, this beer it is quite nicely done actually. So. I would recommend that you try it for yourself and see how you get on. As I said with the uh, the Juviet's APA, and there was one of the other beers as well, they've actually proved, these guys have proven to me that perhaps rate beer isn't such a good measure of how good beer actually is, because these ones, these two beers have been, for bigger breweries, for bigger Bratsch brewed beers, these have actually been quite nice. So these these are probably some of the, be the best um, macro brews that I've come across, but I don't know if it's really right to call Cornelius a macro brew. These guys are a regional brewery rather than, you know, like Lech or Juviets or something. Mm. But you know, overall, this is a nice Weizen beer. Quite sweet in the middle of the palate, but it's nice and drinkable. And that's a trend you seem to notice with Polish regional beer. It is smooth and it is quite drinkable. The Polish seem to quite like multi flavoured beers from what I've gathered so far. And they like their beers to be smooth as well, at least with these regional beers. So it's always cool to pick up little traits about traits like that about um, about the different countries when you're trying their beers. So yeah, I think the po Polish people tend to like um, very smooth beers that have got a lot of malty flavour in them. So that's one thing just to note when you're uh, when you're thinking about Polish beer. But overall, this one is quite nice. It's quite a sweet Weizen. So if you like the bubble gummy flavours, if you like the banana flavours. And you like something that's just generally more malt forward and sweet, you will probably enjoy this beer. So this is a probably this is probably quite a good beer to introduce yourself to the Weizen style if you're not too used to it, but you like things like um, I guess like Dunkel beers and stuff. This could be an interesting one for you to try. In terms of the mouthfeel, I'd say this guy is mid-bodied. The carbonation is very smooth. There is a little bit of an oily character to this one. But yeah, overall, the, as I said, it leans more towards the malty side of things. It is quite sweet, but there is a little bit of hoppy dryness around the front of the palate too. But yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it is a nice beer and I would recommend that you try it. So 
Um, go and check out Brother Cornelius and the Pszczesnichny, they're Hefevax and beer. I've quite enjoyed this one and as I said, I'm quite impressed with the, the standard of Polish regional beer. You always think of it, of some of the regional breweries in Germany, or at least I do. But the Polish regional breweries are brewing some pretty damn good stuff as well. It's just a shame that Polish beer isn't as exported as some of the German beers because these beers are pretty damn good. So yeah, if you go to Poland, go and tr just try the beer. It is a very good standard. So go and try the Brover Cornelius stuff. Do let me know what your favourite beers are from this brewery. This is the very first time I've encountered them. So I would like to know your favourite beers from these guys. But I have enjoyed this one and I'm sure I will return to them soon. So yeah, go and check out this beer. Let me know in the comments section below your own thoughts on it as I always ask. But until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Go and check out my social media things. I hope you've enjoyed this review and I hope you're also enjoying the Polish Beer Month that I'm doing for you. Thank you to Dominika once again and I will catch you soon with my next beer review. I hope you're enjoying this series. Nastrobia.